know someone who's 40 something and wants to have a baby? Or maybe you've held off and now your biological clock is blaring. Well, here's the latest on fertility at 40. Oh my. <laughs> She's a mom-to-be on a mission, finding a stroller for her baby soon to arrive. But when it comes to strollers, this first-time mom is first to admit she has no idea what she's doing. Hey, I did it. Easy claps, throw it in the trunk, right? Uh, you're not going to be throwing three-wheelers <laughs> too far. It's exciting. Oh, Dr. Seuss. Lori Van Sant and her husband Nate have wanted this baby for, it seems, an eternity. It's been a long road, there's no doubt. To have the uh, concern that we wouldn't have kids, I mean, that was a really hard thing to, to grapple with. The reason? Lori's age. When, at 40, she realized she did want to have children, she ran into problems. Every doctor will tell you every month that goes by over the age of, I think it's 38, I would generalize, you are losing a significant amount of time. The effect nearly broke their emotions and their bank account. Lori and Nate consulted with many experts and spent tens of thousands of dollars on experimental treatments. All of this led to one devastating conversation with a doctor. Literally in about one sentence, very clearly he said, you will not have a healthy pregnancy. I will mark your chart that you will not and or it will go to term and it will not be a nice situation. They had all but given up when they heard of a doctor in Berkeley who was helping many women in Lori's situation. Everything going okay? It's going excellent. At Sutter Health's Alta Bates Summit Medical Center, Dr. Richard Chutkowski began testing Lori's egg production. We measure hormones that regulate the ovary, in particular the FSH hormone. And also we do ultrasound where we can see the, the ovaries and see the follicles within the ovaries. Through the process, Lori learned some basic information that many women aren't aware of. For a lot of women, they think that 40 is the time when the biological clock starts ticking. I think in this day and age, we think you can take a magic pill or a couple shots and whammo, you'll be pregnant. But in fact, by the time they reach 40, the ball game is oftentimes almost over. While you can easily turn fertility off by taking the pill, it's a common myth that you're more likely to become pregnant if you start and then stop taking oral contraceptives. It all comes down to viable cells and timing. I think that was something that I was amazed with, is that it, it is down to minutes in terms of the timing of combining, uh, combining the eggs and the sperm in, in, to, to, produce a, uh, to produce a child. Lori and Nate were shocked when Dr. Chekowski suggested something they hadn't tried, in vitro fertilization with a double transfer of eggs. At this point, it has almost become the main treatment for infertility, regardless of the cause, and its versatility has proven to be remarkable. We were told we weren't going to have a healthy pregnancy, and here we are. It's truly a dream come true. Preparations are underway shopping for baby for the arrival of their baby girl nate as a father is um actually if i could cry he's going to be fantastic and i pray that the traits instilled in this child either genetically or environmentally will be more from him than me to be honest she's going to be amazing and i couldn't be happier with her and, and knowing what type of mother she's going to be when are you most likely to get pregnant? Find out with our online interactive fertility calculator at mylifestages.org.